Hi friends, this is Naresh Kai. Welcome to my channel Technical Talks. Today I'm going to prepare a video on interfaces in the Oracle app. So in this video, I will going to tell you what is the meaning of interface, how many types of interface and how the interface will work. Okay, so first we will start with the how many types of interface. So there are just two types of an interface. First one is outbound interface and second one is an inbound interface. Okay. So what is the outbound interface? Transfer the data from one system to platform. Suppose that one of the organization having its ERP system. We will call it as a legacy system. So this legacy system is having some of the data and now they want to switch to on to the Oracle app. So that time they want to transfer all the data of this legacy system to the Oracle app. So for that purpose, they will transfer first that data to the flat file. So flat files are nothing but the CSV file or comma separated file, which will be used to extract the data from the legacy system system okay so means suppose we are having thousands table in this legacy system so we will create thousand comma separated file or csv file and that files will be called as an flat file okay so outbound interface is nothing but the getting the data out from the system in the format of flat files okay and then second one is inbound interface so what is the inbound interface so inbound interface is nothing but the transfer the data from flat file to the erp system Outbound process is really simple. In outbound process, we will just write package or a procedure and we will fetch the data in the comma separated or CSV file. But inbound process is somewhat complex. For inserting the data into the another system, we have to follow one process. So that process I am going to explain you. So in that process, we will having the data which is came from legacy system. So the previous ERP system, which is given as a flat file. Okay, that we had seen already in the outbound interface. So this data, this flat file is provided by the client to us. Then after what will happen? This flat file data we have to insert into our Oracle app. So for that, we are having another aspect that is staging table. So staging table is nothing but the user created table, which is used for storing the data of the flat file. Okay, so first we have to create the staging table and by using this SQL loader program, we have to insert all the data into the staging table number of columns in a csv and number of columns in a staging tables are same okay we have to insert the data by using sql loader from flat file to staging table so i am having one sample sql loader code with me so this is my sql loader code just we have to write this number of an line so we have to write load data then we have to give the path of the file where our data is means flat file path after we have to write insert into the table name and after that we have to write fill terminated by comma because csv file is comma separated file we have to write all the column which are present into our flat file then we have to register this sql loader as a concurrent program and we have to do the further process okay then after suppose your data is inserted into the staging tripper properly then after what you have to do you have to insert it into the interface table so what is the interface table so this data is inserted but we had not done any type of an validation for this so that's why we have to do all the validations means we have to write a PL SQL procedure with all types of a validation for that program from staging table to interface table the data will go by using the PL SQL procedure with all types of an validation i am having one pl sql procedure with all type of validation in this file every details are there i will attach this in my comment section so suppose that from staging table to interface table your data is inserted the next and the last step is to insert that data from interface table to the base table so that is used by using the standard api so oracle had already built some of the standard apis to insert the data from interface table to the base table these interface tables are already created by oracle and this base table is are also there just you have to create this staging table and by calling this api you can transfer the data from interface table to the base table okay so this is the one aspect but in some cases we don't have the interface table oracle doesn't give one us an interface table so that time we directly have to insert the data from staging table to the base table in this we are having some of the standard api or we have to build some 
custom API by ourselves. Okay, so in that we will transfer the data directly from staging table to the base table. Okay, this was the second aspect, but this second aspect is rarely used. So this is nothing but the interfaces. So there are two types of interfaces: inbound and outbound interface. In outbound interface, we will transfer the data from legacy system to the flat file. In inbound interfaces, we will transfer the data from flat files to the base table. This legacy system is the part of the outward interfaces okay one more thing i have to add over here so there is a one more concept that is called as a conversion so what is the difference between interfaces and convergence so the main difference is that when we are transferring the data from flat file to base table multiple times I mean suppose we had transferred some data today then after some days then after some days but when we have to transfer the data once only from flat file to base table that is called as a conversion like currency codes so currency code are standard which are already defined and which we don't want to change every time so that is the data which we transfer only once so that is called as a conversion and suppose your PO details so PO detail we have to transfer the data regularly because we will create the POs regularly so that is called as an interface okay so this is the difference between the conversion and interface you will find all the code below this video if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with Naresh to get more videos on Oracle SQL PL SQL Oracle application OAF and other technologies thank you